And guys, I'm the search okay. If you're watching this, I definitely that please please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. And I promise you that will make your academic problems a thing of the past. So let's get into the lesson. In this morning's lesson, we're going to be dealing with rent income with a percentage increase, decrease, then after that it increases again. Um most learners have a problem with such a rent income. So I'm just going to try and make it easy. Now, first things first, here what we need to know is that our year starts on the 1st of March 2020 and it ends on the 28th of February 2021. So the information that I'm telling you, I've already written it here so that this video doesn't become very long. So here what they're telling us is that um, they're telling us that the premises have been rented for the past uh, five years. Okay. Um, so the premises have been rented for the past uh, five years. The premises have been rented for the past five years. The rent for March 2021 has been received and recorded. So remember, number one, our year ends in February, but we have already received for March. And this is outside our financial period. So therefore, it means that we must subtract. So immediately, when you remember that you must subtract, go and put the minus sign so that you don't forget. Okay. And then after this, they are telling us that um, due to lockdown, the rent was decreased by 25% per month uh, for only three months from April. So now let's check. They decreased the rent by 25%. And then remember, it means when our year started, uh, it was 100%. But to make it easy for us, I'll draw our timeline. So we have March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, and March. So they said um, rent was decreased for these three months from April up until June. And remember, before rent was at 100%. Okay. So when they decrease it by 25, if you say um, 100 minus 25, that's going to give you 75%. So it means for April, May, and June, they were only paying 75%. And then from there up until the end of the year because after it was decreased for only three months it means it went to the original amount uh, so it means from um july up until march rent went back to being 100 percent so for july august september october november december january february march uh remember here um it was 100 percent at the beginning for only one month so we'd have um 100 multiply by one which is equals to 100 and then it became 75 percent uh, for only three months so if we say 75 times three if we say 75 times three it's going to give us 225 okay and then from there we check remember after that it went back to being normal so it became um hundred percent let's check for how many months you can simply say uh, remember they told you that we have received the rent uh, for 13 months uh, for, for 13 months so if you say um 13 and then you minus uh, four of what you have already recorded it will tell you that it was a hundred percent for nine months which will give us 900 but you can also go there to verify let's go back to our timeline and verify so when you check here um for from it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's nine months so which means our calculations are correct okay so then after this we get the total of these percentages so we are going to say um 100 plus 225 and then also plus a uh, 900 which gives us um 1225 so the total percentages of the rent that we received is 1225 but remember we have received one month in advance and then the month after is when it was 100 percent so it means if we say 100 um divided by 1225 we multiply by the total rent received of 208250 uh, it will give us the rent that we are supposed to deduct okay so i'm going to say um two zero eight uh two fifty multiply by one hundred divided by one two two five 
uh, it is giving us 17,000. So the rent that has been received in advance is 17,000. So in our income statement, we must subtract 17,000. And then on your final box for final answers, you are going to say uh, 208250 minus 17,000. And then it will give you 191250. So your rent received under other operating incomes it's supposed to be 191,250 okay so please make sure guys that you practice as many transactions as possible on your rent income directors fees audit fees uh you know all those adjustments that are difficult make sure that you practice them and in accounting guys the most important thing that's how you interpret your questions so please make sure that you learn how to interpret questions so that life can become easy for you. Um, if you have enjoyed this lesson and you want me to become your online tutor, you're more than welcome to get in touch with me by using the details that are available in the description of this video. For now, you can text us on WhatsApp 0730363208 and I promise you that will make your academic problems a thing of the past from just 500 per month whereby you will get eight lessons per month i believe that uh, that action taking that action will make a difference in your academics thank you so much for watching god bless you shalom